What's up everyone? In this video I'm going to show you a tutorial of the elevator I posted in my last video. I did upgrade it so that it resets itself and there's only one slight change in its use. All that is different is that you need to press this twice when you go up. And you go up, press the button, and it's going to reset itself. Just like that. Over there is the outside version I built before the one that I just showed you. And I'll show you over here how to build it in the very basic, basic steps. So first you start with a lever. Make a trail and go to your first sticky piston. So that will go right there. Next you're going to have to make another layer so make another layer above that one and place another sticky piston you also need repeaters because for this to work you need to time it correctly start out with one repeater on the first setting So make the trail of redstone, follow the new path. Put the next repeater, add two more clicks to it. Let's try that out. And that's the first two. Let's try adding more. So go another two, two above this. And it does get tricky to add more redstone at higher levels but it is doable and you can probably make it as high as you want Add another piston, or add another repeater that is, and make sure it's two more clicks than the previous one. So that's on full, and then this one is not clicked at all. Let's try that out. See how that works? And that is the basic design. I'm not going to show you more layers than that because it'll take a while, but you guys can experiment on your own. I changed my mind. I decided to build another layer for the purposes of the auto reset system. It's pretty much the same as how we built it already, but backwards. What you need to do is to add a few blocks onto each layer that has redstone. And the top layer needs to be activated first, so it'll have the least amount of repeaters on it. Once again, make sure it's two clicks ahead of the last one you made. And we're going to put a button on the ground, so you need to make every single layer reach the ground. It's probably easiest to work from the top up, from the top to the ground, that is. And it's sometimes easy to connect it to a lower layer, so you don't have to make so many different tracks. Sometimes it's kind of hard, but looks like we can do it on this one. You want to make sure that you connect it before it reaches any repeaters because that will affect how fast it goes.
get out a button and then put it on this block right here. Alright, first let's try out the actual elevator. Let me reset it. So that seems to be working fine. Oops. Now let's test... Oh, my bad. First you need to actually connect the bottom as well. Can't forget that. So add more, piss more repeaters than you had on the last one. So we had two full ones on there. Now let's try it. You need to do it a certain amount of times, depending on how many layers you have, to make it work. There will always be one gap, one space of gap, so there's something else you also need to do to compress the whole elevator. And what that is, is you need to make a another piston, a sticky piston here, and then get out a normal piston. place it like that. What the purpose of this is, is once the sequence finishes, this will go out and compress the rest of the elevator. And for that, for now, until we actually get the whole thing done, you guys can experiment with it later, but for now we'll have separate buttons for the two functions, because it's easier that way. Had some bad fraps lag there, sorry about that. And you do need to make two separate uh, trails of redstone because they need to be activated at different times. In order to make this work, you have to make this one take longer and this one be shorter. Even though that it doesn't really make sense, but that's how it works because it goes out and then it will compress no matter what time it is so basically this is what it's going to look like when you finish it you do need to raise this block by one because this piston will raise if it's at this level let's try it out try out the elevator first that seems to be working and now the reset buttons for four layers, looks like you need to press it twice. And then use a compressor. That works good. I would do more layers, but I don't have that much time as it, as it is a YouTube video, and I don't want to waste your guys' time. And now we can change this system into a repeating system, so you only have to press the button one time, no matter how many t how many layers you have. And basically, what you do is you get a bunch of repeaters. First of all. Make a circuit. And what I find to work good is six repeaters. and we'll lower this one so that we can cut it off with a piston when needed. And using one piston doesn't work to cut off a whole circuit, so you need to make two spots that do that. So it'll look like that, and we activate it with a button. So that will go around and it'll just keep repeating. And we do need to time these pistons so that they activate at the correct time to cut off the circuit after two repeats for four layers. 
And for this piston, we need to use 13 repeaters at full. So that'll cut off that in time, but that's not quite enough to cut off the entire charge. What you need to do is also time this one, and I figure that'll be around about two more than this one. So what we can do is just add on to the pr to this current the current model and just bring it over there. Let's try that one out. So there's a first charge, second charge, this is going to cut this off. And that wasn't quite fast enough, so we need to take off about one repeater. I'll just put that in the first setting for now. Let's try that again. Second charge, before the third, just stop it. That'll stop. A little bit too early again. Too late, I mean. So, what we have to do is just eliminate that repeater altogether. Try one more time. That's cut off there, that's cut off there and the circuit is ended. So that's 14 repeaters for the first piston and 9 for the second. Now let's see how the circuit gets cut off. First signal sent, second signal sent, that cuts it off there and then it finishes it off there. And let's try the whole elevator in action. That's working good. Press the button. And now all we need to do is add on this last part to compress it. And to do that we need to add many many more repeaters because it is the final stage. So what we can do is set it off another trail here. All this is is trial and error, so put as many repeaters as you think is necessary and keep trying. Let's see if that's enough. So we'll restart the elevator. Auto reset again. And that's taking a little too long, so let's take off about six. Let's try this again. Looks like the current didn't reach, we'll have to add another repeater. Let's try this out now. And looks good. There we have it. There is four layers of the elevator with the auto resetting system. Here's how it looks. This is a circuit one more time. There's a button. The repeaters that lead to both pistons. We 
here's another look at the actual <laughs> elevator. And you can do a lot more layers in this. This one was my first model and I did eight. And I will show you how that one runs again. As soon as this lag goes away. Press it twice. And the auto reset button is right here. This is what it looks like for eight layers. There we go. There's my elevator. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I'll be putting out some more crossbow videos and such soon.